So today we're checking out AMD's newest graphic card. Cards. Who knows what's going to come out? I think this is 1080p. Yes, it is. Let's do it. Much like every PlayStation game, they're gonna show me. <laughs> nah. Let's go see. Rift Breaker. This looks. This game looks pretty impressive. Far Cry Six. I forgot this game was coming out. Shadowlands. So pretty much every game that. Nvidia doesn't have their uh, partnership with. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today for this second half of our next-gen PC platform launch. I loved seeing all of your excitement when we introduced the Ryzen 5000 series a few weeks ago. It was actually the most watched launch video in AMD history. And I must say, we're very proud of what Zen 3 brings to gamers. But today is all about Big Navi. I'm really excited to show you the new RDNA Big 2 Navi. architecture and our full stack of Radeon RX 6000 series products. As you know, we brought the first generation of RDNA architecture to market in 2019 with the Radeon RX 5700 XT. And with the combined launch of the GPU 5700 RDNA. XT and the Ryzen 3000 series, AMD became the first company to introduce a high-performance CPU and GPU together. And we delivered a winning combination of computing and gaming performance, including CPU and GPU of the year in 2019 from PC Gamer. Really? Now, 2020 is really the year... CPU, I can see. I know many of you can't wait to get your hands on the next-gen consoles. Whether it's the Microsoft Xbox Series X and Series S, or the Sony PlayStation 5, we are so proud that AMD is enabling these incredible gaming experiences. Which is why we like to say that AMD is where gaming begins. Now, earlier this month, I showed you our new AMD Ryzen 5000 series, the world's best gaming processor. Our next-gen Ryzen processor combines absolute performance leadership in single-threaded performance, gaming, and creative workloads with leadership performance per watt. And for millions of you, it's a drop-in upgrade to your existing AM4 motherboard. Now, as successful as we've been with Ryzen, many of you have asked us to compete at the highest end of gaming GPUs as well. And today, we're ready to show you exactly what we've been working on. I'm so excited to show you the Radeon RX 6000 series. It's absolutely the most powerful gaming GPU we've ever built. I think you'll be pretty pleased with what you see. I often talk about the fact that we're on a journey, and we are on a journey. Just like with our Zen CPU architecture, we're on a multi-year journey in GPUs with our RDNA architecture. We designed RDNA specifically for gaming, and our first-gen RDNA products delivered 50% better performance per watt over our GCN architecture. We wanted to take another big step with RDNA 2 and deliver another 50% generational improvement in perf per watt. And with RDNA 2, we also set the very ambitious goal to deliver leadership gaming performance. And now I'm very happy to show you for the first time Benchmarks. Big Navi. This is the chip at the heart oh. of our high-end Radeon <laughs> RX 6000 series. 26.8 billion transistors built with leading edge seven nanometer process technology. Big Navi is our first product powered oh, by kinda... RDNA2. We I have made like incredible it. progress on the architectural front. And now let me turn it over to AMD fellow Laura Smith to give you more details on the architecture. All right, some geeky stuff. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> our graphics architecture roadmap has a clear goal, gaming leadership across the ecosystem. The GCN was a great architecture, but we knew we needed to rethink graphics and build the best engine for the future. We wanted to build a set of technologies that game developers could use across all platforms. The first major step was RDNA, introduced last year. RDNA was a new architecture and used a seven nanometer process node, 
which helped us with the large initial gains. We committed to you that our engineers had plans in the works for RDNA2, and we would be back quickly with another significant improvement. By combining our expertise in CPU design, deep gaming history, and broad ecosystem partnerships, RDNA2 is built to be the gaming architecture for all gamers across console, PC, and beyond. We had some very ambitious goals with RDNA2. Significantly higher performance, 50% improvement in performance per watt, like and new design. hardware features. Individually, each of these goals is challenging. Okay. When combined, they become extremely difficult because as you push performance, a natural side effect is more power. New features also mean more computation, further challenging both speed and power metrics. For RDNA2, we made significant gains in all these areas. The compute unit is the core of the architecture. We advanced all aspects of the compute unit design, leveraging techniques first developed in CPUs. We deployed pervasive fine-grained clock gating, reimagined the pipeline to aggressively maximize performance while minimizing data movement. In combination, these elements made the compute units 30% more energy efficient, allowing them to be pushed faster. Gaming at 4K requires more data to be brought into the chip. The amount of data more than doubles as we move from 1440p to 4K. The more efficient the memory subsystem is, the higher fidelity the images are, and the more you can push the frame rates. We took a new approach to solving this technical challenge for gaming and deployed a graphics-optimized, high-density, high-speed cache based on the Zen L3 cache. We call this the Infinity Cache. The Infinity Cache minimizes DRAM bottlenecks, latencies, and power consumption. Our specialized Infinity Cache, combined with a 256-bit G6 interface, delivers more than twice the effective bandwidth of a traditional 384-bit G6 solution and at lower power consumption. High frequency is important for gaming performance. RDNA2 is built with custom libraries and high-speed design flows, maximizing frequency in seven nanometer. With RDNA2, our silicon design and architectural improvements, we are able to deliver 30% faster frequencies in the same seven nanometer process node. Pulling all this together, the RDNA2 architecture beats our aggressive performance per watt goal, P -P achieving 54%. With RDNA2, we also focused on bringing new hardware features into the architecture. We partner closely with Microsoft on DirectX 12 ultimate features, including DirectX ray tracing, variable rate shading, mesh shaders, and sampler feedback. RDNA2 will also support Microsoft Direct Storage API. We're excited about this new API that will enhance the gaming experience by significantly reducing game asset load times from large SSDs. We compared the performance of RDNA2 to our prior generation. And when we put it all together, on average, RDNA2 delivers double the performance and with great power efficiency. We are so proud cool. of what we've accomplished with RDNA2, <laughs> and we are not stopping. The team is executing to plan, RDNA2 is here, and the RDNA3 team is well into execution. Let me welcome Scott Herkelman to show RDNA2 in our new RX 6000 series products. Dramatic music. All AMD has to do is partner with Hello to all of the gamers tuning in, and welcome to our Radeon RX 6000 series product reveal. As a hardcore League of Legends, a lot of Borderlands 3 player, and playing these games on our RX 6000 series over the past few weeks, League of I'm Legends. so excited and proud to be here with you today. Allow me to introduce you to our brand new AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics card. The 6800 XT is purposefully designed to play all of your favorite AAA games at 4K and below resolutions and at the highest quality settings available. It comes with 72 compute units and runs with a game clock of over 2 gigahertz. This card features a 2.25 gigahertz boost clock that pushes some of the highest frequencies Holy. we've ever achieved. 
all thanks to the incredible work done by our engineering team on the RDNA2 architecture. The 6800 XT will also feature 128 megabytes of Infinity Cache that is power Infinity efficient while cache. driving the bandwidth needed for high resolution gaming. <laughs> Paired I like with it. 16 gigabytes of blazing fast GDDR6 memory, you'll be ready for the most demanding high resolution games that you want to play. And we've delivered all of this incredible performance with a total board power Show us. of just 300 watts. Show us. As you can see, what? the 6800 XT not only delivers on 4K 60 frames per second, but in most cases, it overperforms. We've been maxing out all the settings in games like Battlefield 5, Borderlands 3, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And the performance has just been awesome to experience. Very Let's impressive. take a look at how the 6800 XT competes head to head against the latest offering from the competition. Yes. Here, we compare Let's their go. best API scores to our best API scores. The best versus the best. And as you can see, the 6800 XT trades blows and has some significant wins across a variety of titles. Hmm. And it does all of this at less power consumption than the competition. Interesting. For the 1440p gamers out there, we have some great results for you too. Okay. Over the last several years, neck more and, and neck. more gamers have adopted 1440p monitors as their display of choice. Interesting. Here are the same games we showed you before, running the same best versus best API scenario at 1440p resolution. I personally love seeing so many games running at over 100 frames per second with all of the settings maxed out. This is all AMD needs this to know. This is just an incredible amount of performance. All in all, the 6800 XT is a fantastic have choice. Have a great stock at games. launch. We even have more performance we are delivering with two very cool features. The first is a one-click overclocking button we've built into our Radeon software package that we call Rage Mode. Now, Rage they Mode improve the software, takes the firmware, the overclocking headroom built into your GPU. Keep up the driver updates every frequently, bit of performance it has like NVIDIA. And the second is made possible because of the fact that only AMD Supply. can deliver both high-performance processors and high-performance GPUs. Let's get this we competition. Call this new Let's get this competition. AMD Smart Access Memory. AMD Smart Access Memory unlocks the greater amount of high-speed memory from the AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards to the AMD Ryzen 5000 series processors, mm. and it delivers additional levels of performance in games. Simply pair these components with our 500 series chipset motherboards, enable the setting in the BIOS, and the performance uplift becomes automatic. When you combine AMD Smart Access Memory with the one-click overclocking of Rage Mode, you'll get a boost in performance in many of the games you love. We're seeing up to a 13% How much? That's all you gotta say. How much? Increase. When? And that's before game I'll developers begin to optimize for new capability. Now, we know a lot of you absolutely love possible to get a 3080. Performance Probably 3070 is gonna sell out really However, quickly we tomorrow. we can also improve the game experience by reducing latency. The differences of milliseconds of latency in a competitive game can be the difference between a major win and a major loss. Last year, we pushed the industry to recognize there was a better way to provide competitive gamers with less latency from mouse click to the screen, giving competitive gamers who own the RX 5000 series a serious leg up on their competition. Today, we are pushing the boundaries again and further reducing latency in competitive games for even better results. It's like Combining NVIDIA's the latest reflex, implementation right? Radeon anti-lag with the FreeSync monitor can reduce lag in your DX9 and in your DX11 games. In Fortnite, Damn. for example, gamers can realize up to eight milliseconds of latency reduction by simply enabling this feature in Radeon software. More recently, we introduced Radeon Boost, a unique feature that's a step beyond anti-lag. For select games, Radeon Boost offers dynamic resolution in response to your mouse or controller inputs, leading to higher frame rates and, as a result, quicker responses to your input. Both Radeon Anti-Lag and Radeon mm -hmm. Boost can be enabled via the Radeon software that comes with your graphics cards, and neither of them require a proprietary API Turn it or on. game integration to provide latency-reducing benefits. As you can see, the combination of Eight these technologies can contribute up to 37% <laughs> latency reduction in highly competitive games like Fortnite Don't running blink. at 4K. Now, okay. performance is king, but let's talk for a minute about how we are improving the visual experience as well. 
With full hardware support for DX12 Ultimate, the Radeon RX 6000 series is ready to enable ray tracing and variable rate shading in upcoming titles. We've also expanded our library of Fidelity FX features to work hand in hand with ray tracing, compute, and shader effects to enable the higher level of visual fidelity while ensuring high frame rates. For DX12 Ultimate, we've added an optimized denoiser for ray tracing effects and a variable rate shading algorithm that can adapt image quality based upon luminance and motion. We've also added a suite of compute-based effects to be used alongside ray tracing, like optimized screen space reflections and an optimized ambient occlusion. We're always looking to help developers with new initiatives and are already working on a super resolution. How do you guys feature. think it is? To give gamers an option for more performance when using Rachel. Are they going to match NVIDIA with a $700 of today, price? Our AMD Fidelity FX supported games list has grown to 35 titles using a variety of our features. Probably maybe cheaper. So let's take a look at it's some be of these cheaper, they new won. features in an upcoming game with never before seen footage from Counterplay Studios and their fantastic game, oh. Godfall. Godfall is a brand new third person perspective, <laughs> next generation looter slasher that challenges looter. gamers to engage in slasher. high impact melee combat. As they hunt There's for There's multiplayer loot, in this game, so I'm kind of hyped for it. And if it, defeat if it's easy to enemies. jump in with a party, leveraging the latest DirectX do some dungeons together, API, I think it'd be cool. Godfall features DirectX ray tracing, Regardless of whether the story sucks or not, fidelity who cares. Cast it looks fun to deliver incredible levels of stunning fidelity. I personally can't wait to play this game, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, let's hear from a few more of our game developer partners about the work they've done with us on RDNA 2 and what you can expect in their games coming soon. They need Valve to come in and say, for the next Half Life, RDNA 2 will leverage. I'm here to talk about Far Cry 6 and some of the new technologies we've been collaborating with AMD on to make our game the most immersive and beautiful Far Cry ever. Mm. We've been working together to take full advantage of the new Radeon RX 6000 series and RDNA 2 architecture for Looks the best sleek. possible experience. I like. We've been very impressed by AMD's latest tech and joined forces to bring Fidelity FX cast, DXR ray tracing, and variable ray shading to Far Cry 6. Five. We're using VRS tier 2 to use a compute shader to generate a control texture which analyzes the luminance and gives us control at an 8x8 tile level as to what shader rate we're going to be using. <laughs> this enables us to heck? render much more quickly. Ah, my eyes! <laughs> Shadowlands, that's surprising. We're excited to team up with great partners like AMD to bring some new features to World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is built on a custom engine using the DirectX 12 Ultimate API. Another great feature on the RX 6000 is DXR <laughs> ray tracing. Here you can see ray tracing evident and how the shadows are interacting. Oh my God, whoa. Seeing, incredibly complex what? Applications on the RX 6000. This is a level of realism that hasn't been possible until recently. What? Completely different. The RDNA 2 architecture <laughs> and the Radeon 6000 series. Don't look into my eyes. Stop it. Some of the latest ah. DirectX 12 oh, this game. technologies into our engine. Real time ray traced shadows. Looks allow good. Us to introduce additional shadow oh. custom lights into the scene. That they need a slogan like RTX more, on. They need, some, uh, they need something like that. And detail into the world. Over the next few weeks, Our developers DNA of these on. incredible games will show never-before-seen gameplay with gorgeous graphics that use a combination of ray tracing and fidelity effects running on the Radeon RX 6000 series. Feature graphics. video available. Be ah. sure to check out amd.com starting tomorrow to see more. Okay. I'm happy to announce that the Radeon RX 6800 XT is available. will be available on November 18th starting at $649. But we are not done yet. Today, we are also announcing oh. the Radeon RX 6800 with 60 compute units, a 1.815 gigahertz game clock with a boost clock of over 2.1 gigahertz. Okay. It will feature the same 128 megabytes of Probably Infinity 750 cache and be available to guess. with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Maybe. With a board power 800, of just 250 watts. 250? Oh, this is, this is a lower version. Gaming, delivering uh, more performance than the 2080 Ti, Wait, which what? was launched at $999. 
The 6800 delivers over 60 frames per second in all of these games. Oh, giving you the so this is their you need to step into the 4K 2080 Ti 3070 competitor. To 1440p resolution, where the RX 6800 tears through got the latest it. games. Got it, got it, got it. Delivering about 18% 500, more performance than the 2080 Ti. 399, holy. The Radeon RX Wait, what? will be available to gamers starting at a price of $579. Okay, 599 Okay. Now, let's bring back Lisa to wrap things up. The 3070 might demolish that. I don't know. Or be on par. Huh. Huh. Thanks, Scott and Laura. The AMD Radeon 6800 XT 650. 6800 deliver simply incredible 4K and 1440p gaming experiences. This is the power of RDNA 2. And once we add the smart access memory if it's available, technology, gamers can even can get, get it before uh, per NVIDIA. Comparing Radeon sure. 6000 GPUs with Ryzen 5000 servers. And we're uh, now, collectively that some of you either your team red, team green, doesn't matter. It's like we all win. All gamers win in the end. Launch earlier this right? month. For the record, that was the 6800. You can XT. thumbs up, you can thumbs down. It doesn't know, matter. We, we all win. The best for at last, the end, right? And I always get the most fun jobs. So today, that means I have one more GPU to show you. We didn't stop with the Radeon RX 6800 yes. XT. Yes. We knew that the give RDNA 2 architecture could give gamers even more. 3090. I'm so excited to share with you, for the very first time, the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. Now, isn't this just absolutely gorgeous? And you'll see that it's actually <gasps> relatively compact. For yeah. The performance that it it's not as a big it's chonker. It's the same size as our 6800 XT card. What? Our top of the stack Radeon GPU is I'm built surprised for the ultimate how... in 4K gaming. I'm surprised how... 300 watts. The 6900 XT combines 80, 80. compute units. I don't even know what that means. 80 compute units. What does that mean? To deliver even more performance at the highest settings. They kept it at 16. With 16 gigabytes wait, of graphics 12. memory, the 6900 XT is ready for the most demanding next-gen games. Dang. And with the power efficiency of RDNA 2, we've been able to deliver all of this with a total board power of 300 watts. Now, Laura showed wow. you that we achieved a 54% generational improvement in perf per watt with the 68. I don't have to upgrade XT. my PSU. I mean, that's a huge savings, right? XT, for everyone? We improved things even more, hitting 65% more performance per watt over first gen RDNA. I'm so proud of our engineers who worked incredibly hard to that's optimize good. every good. 650, aspect of RDNA 2. How much? Oh, to achieve it's probably won't reveal the price. Now let's see how all of this translates to gaming performance. Running at 4K with the highest settings, the 6900 XT looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's here they go. It's across the board, consistently delivering high frame rates in your favorite games. Who cares if you're missing Just what? Just take a look at the performance. Four frames, five frames, who gives a sh in Battlefield right? 5, Call of Duty, who gives a, Gears of right? War 5. All of this is if at you can get power, a 3090 or this new now, Let's talk about price RX and card. The AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT will be available on December 8th, starting at $999. You asked for AMD to bring the highest graphics performance to the gaming market, and we're doing just that. I hope you now feel that with the Ryzen 5000 series and the Radeon 6000 series, AMD $500 is savings for your next generation PC gaming platform. Versus Whether the 3090. You want a game with ultimate performance in AAA titles at 4K resolution, or you're an esports fan who needs incredibly high frame rates and responsiveness. Uh, Across the board, for uh, every gamer, uh, at every price, what? AMD has the CPU and GPU oh combination Oh my for you. gosh. So you're as excited as we are. Are we you kidding me? So look for the Ryzen 5000 series starting November 5th, the Radeon RX 6800 series starting November 18th, and the Radeon RX 6900 XT starting December 8th. To wrap up here, this has been quite a journey December 8th. And I'm incredibly proud of our CPU and GPU teams who have worked years for this moment. AMD is delivering the best to the industry. Uh, we want to thank uh, all of you for your passion and enthusiasm and for always pushing us to be the best. <sighs> Holy. That is huge. They win on power consumption. They win on price. The lower end model, I'm not sure, but the higher end models, definitely. It really boils down to like, you know, what are you used to? 
what 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 is it compatible with? Uh, da Vinci Resolve is that compatible with it? Uh, I don't know. Is Streamlabs is OBS compatible with it? Encoding wise, recording wise, not. I don't think so. I, don't, I guess you would use their streaming software, right? And their drivers. It really just boils down. Okay, they win on price. They win on power per watt. I guess that's a term you can use. Um, availability. That is TBD. If they can win on supply and availability throughout November, December, and through next year, then they can win. Because NVIDIA, like I've checked, I've been checking Best Buy for the past couple weeks. No drops, no, no Founders Edition drops whatsoever. So what's, so, uh, NVIDIA might win the, that $500 price point, 3070. I think a lot of people are going to buy that, but the higher end, mid to high end, the AMD sounds really appealing. I mean. That sounds really appealing. Whether you have like a an EVGA 3080 FTW, like awesome, right? That's great for you. Great for everybody. But you can't deny that this, the price, price per watt is very impressive. And you're only like, it's a difference of what? Five FPS? And you're getting, eventually you're going to upgrade to the their CPUs, the third gen, Zen 3. At some point in time so i'm very impressed very impressed 